Okay. So, I know Cute Polish uploaded a video about doing nail polish swatches, but I just wanted to show you that I have one. This is called my beauty book. And I got this little book at Ross a couple of years ago. And the idea for getting it was, in fact, to record a bunch of different beauty tips and, you know, things that I found that I thought I would use and thought were useful. <laughs> um, but here I did some embellishing on my own with, like, some gems that I got from the Japanese dollar store just to kind of give it my own little flair and um, I made a bookmark so it came with this little ribbon attached but I actually um, took a really cool tag from a pair of pants my sister got me for Christmas one year that I thought this tag was super cute because it looks kind of like a corset getting dirty metal militia and again I embellished it on the ends with some rhinestone gems. Um, but what I wanted to show you is that I've been doing nail polish swatches since like forever. So I kind of have it divided up into two sections because I couldn't decide what would be more helpful to me when I was looking through it. Um, but in the, be in the beginning of my beauty book I have it uh, pretty much divided up by brand. So for China Glaze when I had gone with my friend, oh this is my the first page is just some cuticle oil, homemade cuticle oil recipes. I'm currently using this one, which is a basic cuticle oil of extra virgin olive oil, um, fresh lemon juice. I didn't, I didn't put any of the essential oil because I just liked it. And Actually, this is the bottle of that, which I use every day and night. Works very well. And then other ones that I can try later on. Um, but okay, so OPI is the first brand that I really became obsessed with, so I just have it. Um, I have the name of the polish and then a little swipe of it, a couple swipes of it. Um, so again, these are all my OPI colors. Okay. And then I skip over to China Glaze. Now, when I had gone to the nail salon or the nail supply shop with my friend a year ago, um, China Glaze had a kind of like a lookbook, so I cut out all of the names and those and then I just kind of square off the ones that I have so as I get different ones I just put a little square around it so that I know um, and then these are the other ones brand color name color so as you can see I have a lot a lot of sinful colors those are actually pretty good they're super cheap but they're super cute colors okay so that's the beginning half of it now at the back because in the middle I'm I do other things I've actually started catalog cataloging all of my shoes but that's a different story I haven't really got that up to snuff yet but in the back what I find most helpful when I'm looking for okay so here's the thing I have over I have almost 130 nail polishes so when I go to shop for a nail polish it is very hard to remember what the heck I have okay and so for me to be able to not get too many duplicates or to duplicate what I already have that's why I do it by color so that it's easier so I have pretty much right now two pages for each kind of color so this is for blues and grays and because I already have them written out by brand in the front I just put the name of the color and then a little swipe of the color. So these are just all of my blues and grays. And because of the lighting of my phone, I think some of them look the same. But my blues are pretty much all different except for maybe up all night, cold leather, hot spot, and cobalt. Those kind of all look the same. But then I have my reds and oranges. Like that. This is the other side for reds and oranges. My pinks and purples, which I seem to have like the most of because I have both sides almost pretty much um, filled up and I actually put the glitters I didn't make a separate page for the glitters I just did the glitters in the color family that they are because for me that was easier um, greens and yellows that's the greens and yellows and then my browns and my neutrals which I include silver and gold and that 
Okay, so that's pretty much all I have. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that I have, I call it a beauty book. And it's fabulous. I love the idea. So, highly recommend, very useful. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to share is how I currently um, have my nail polishes laid out. Now I have this little ledge in my hallway area where I can conveniently place all of my polishes. So that's what I do. And again, I do it by color. So I start at the end with my black and white and then it's pinks and goes to reds and then blues. Then into the greens and then into the like magenta, hot pink, purple. Look at those glitters, purple. And then into like the, I don't know, in between purpley stuff, lavender light, grays, a suede black I have, um, more silvers and grays and golds. Okay, and then my neutrals here, my neutrals, and then my dark browns, coppers. Okay, these are like more pinks and mauves, light pinks. I love baby pink, it's like I'm obsessed with baby pink all around. Okay, pinks. And then I have my hot pinks, my corals, my reds here, my oranges. Okay, and then my yellows. Now, one thing that I really recommend if you are not able to store your nail polishes like face up where you can see them, I've prepared my um, bottles for if I ever do move or change my storage ways. I recommend that you put a glob of the color right on the top of the bottle cap. And you can kind of get creative with it just like use the design of the color of the cap to like make it so this is clean color so I just colored in the two O's of the word color. Um, China glaze is really cool because you can just like paint that little design on the top of the um, cap. Uh, sinful colors, I, I started out just filling in the C with the color because I could see it but you could also um, outline that S in the C that looks really cool. Um, color club, fill that in. Um, see, here's where I started doing the um, S and C, which looks really cool, shows up pretty well. Um, then there's the S E E. You can just kind of like color that in. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of what I did. Because, um, like I said, if I ever do move or decide to change up how I store these, if I have to store them in boxes, for example, and I want to just be not have to pick up every bottle that I to see what it is. I can just look at it from the top and pretty much have a good idea. Okay, so that's pretty much that. And then, of course, on my wall I hang, I have tons of like old navy slippers that I, I love slippers and so I hang them up. I use, actually for these, if you have like dogs and you buy clothes for them, like I have two little Yorkies, so I, you know, buy them clothes sometimes and like then I use, I save those hangers. They're perfect for... Uh, slippers like that. These are actually slipper hangers that when you buy them, you know, you can ask them to keep them and then you can just hang them up like that. Okay, so that's that pretty much. A couple more. So yeah, pretty cool. And maybe I'll show you guys some more really fun organizing things that I do. Okay, bye.